Come on in. Good morning. I am so excited to welcome you to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. Happy Monday. Today is such a treat. I have the most fantastic new Super C to show you. Um, my name is Katie O'Neill. You can find me at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. And today we're looking at stock number 5N220599. Make sure you jot that down because this unit is available and it is fantastic. So as usual, I love to start my videos from the inside out. So Jody, go ahead and take her on back. If you are interested in more information about this vehicle, please reach out. Let me get you some info. I hand built this coach myself. Very excited to show it to you. This is the new bath and a half model 45 foot Supreme Air. So this is a 2023 Supreme Air 4530, which replaces the 4573. And it is so cool. The layout here is fantastic. I don't know how they do it, but they always seem to find ways to get us more room in these wonderful coaches. Starting off with this really decadent shower. I love the towel bars on the outside of the glass here, as well as that beautiful linear drain. And then of course we have an overhead uh, rainfall shower head as well as our wand and the teak bench. And you'll note that this is a tile in inlet, or I'm sorry, inset. So uh, in some of our coaches, when you get into this higher end model, this will mirror much of uh, what you see in a mountain air. And this uh, finish is really, really decadent because it has things like the shampoo, body wash and conditioner holder, as well as really good shelf space here uh, for, you know, razor perhaps. Um, of course, you have your shampoo and conditioner up here, so you wouldn't need to use that, but maybe some toothpaste and a toothbrush. And then here we've got our Aquaview Aquamizer shower, shower system. I'm sorry, water recycling system. So if I switch this over to recycle, uh, what this will do is this will take the fresh water out of my 150 gallon fresh water tank and recycle it back into that tank until it heats up, at which point this light will turn from blue to red and it will tell me it's time to go ahead and get in the shower. Uh, that way I'm not wasting my gray water space while getting ready in the morning. So I just turn that back over here to on and then instead of recycling it into the tank, it goes ahead and, or it starts to go through into my gray water tank. Um, I would not recommend, of course, being in here until uh, after you've switched that over. You don't want your uh, water going back into your tank, but it's a really great water saving mechanism. Uh, and you'll find that on most of our coaches. It's just this really decadent in uh, enclosure that you have here in tile that really differentiates this from that of, you know, maybe the Superstar, for instance. I also love the fact that there's a skylight above for those of us that are a little taller. Super nice up there. And then easy to lock feature. Another great feature in this coach, uh, which does not go unnoticed, is all of this room here. You've got an extra closet here with really nice little pull-out drawers as well. These are all full extension, as you can see. So three additional drawers here. Um, below these drawers, you'll see this little vent. This is for your hydronic heat. This is an all electric coach. So this coach is running off of, of hydronic heat as well as your uh, heat pumps. You have three 15,000 watt BT, I'm sorry, three 15,000 BTU air conditioners uh, with heat pumps on this unit. So on the 40 foot Supreme Air, you'll have two on the 45 foot, you get that third air conditioner and heat pump, which is super nice. We also have three drawers here in this rear bath. This is a bath and a half model. So I love these uh, beautiful uh, soft closed drawers. There's a ton of towel space here underneath. And this is the Bermuda glazed maple hardwood high gloss finish. Once again, one of those really nice differentiating features. Uh, that just makes this coach look a little more spectacular. Um, now this is the new Haven decor. So I love the tile for the Haven. It's so nice that it's got beige and gray in it. You can really tie this into any of your decorations. Again, another linear shower, or I'm sorry, linear drain here at the bottom of the sink. And then a very large medicine cabinet with two 110 outlets. So you can keep your flat iron and hair dryer here. Uh, you'll note that this mirror is backlit. Um, so this is just a great way. So in, in addition to your vanity lights up top, you also have this backlit mirror giving you really good visibility if you're trying to get ready in the morning. Um, in the 4530, we also have a row hook. I have a 2022 Superstar 
in the 4065 and it does not have a rope hook. I really love a rope hook. I think I complain about that in every video. I'm going to Newmark for training today. Maybe they'll give me a rope hook while I'm there. Um, so take a look at this Splendid stackable washer and dryer. Love that as well. And then here in the back, we have, of course, our egress door, which is wonderful in case you need to escape. You can just open this door. You can also use this to hand things in and out. Uh, so if you are getting ready to go on a trip and you want to bring in some uh, towels or linens, go ahead and just open that up. Really easy way to load things in and out of your coach. Oh, sorry about that. So we have flush here, which is new for 2023. There's an actual button, which is so nice. So you have the flush button is a hard button. You can feel the bottom of it and then you can feel the top of it. You'll still have your uh, yellow light for a warning that your, your black water tank is starting to get full and then red for when your tank is full. And then also down below, you'll see that we have courtesy lights throughout the coach, which is super nice. And then up above here, we have our fantastic fan. And of course, that's a rain sensing fan. Now, when we talk about um, gray water, this has got a 60 gallon gray water tank. So 150 gallons of fresh water is going to be a game changer for you. Uh, a 60 gallon gray water tank with that Aquaview system will also get you through for us about four or five days without having to dump the gray water tank. Our water actually outlasts our gray water tank. Uh, now here you'll see we've got these wonderful nightstands that have plugs with USB ports and 110s in them. But what's really nice is this cutout that you have here. So you don't have to plug your apparatus into the exterior of the cabinet. You can plug it inside here, run the cord through the top, and then put your phone or your laptop or your iPad up here. And then when you're uh, traveling, you can actually stow your cords inside of this container without having to unplug them. Uh, that is a difference between uh, the Supreme Air and the Superstar that I absolutely noticed. Of course, some other differences between the Supreme Air and the Superstar are going to be not only that you can get this coach in a 45 foot length, as the one that we're looking at today, but it's got the DD3, I'm sorry, DD13. So it's got the Detroit 13 505 horsepower engine in it with 1,850 foot pounds of torque. So this is a big boy machine uh, with lots of towing capacity, 30,000 pounds of towing capacity. Um, so when we special ordered this coach with the Haven interior and the Bermuda, we were really looking for this contrast. But I have to tell you, I'm so excited about the way that this decorative ceiling looks, you know, hiding all of our air conditioner returns and all of our air ducts. It's so beautiful. It's so well uh, offset with this wonderful uh, bedroom decor. I typically don't like the bedspreads or the pillows that come with a coach, but I think that these are just really fantastically done. And I just love this little nuance of the wood detail down here around the headboard. Of course, we've got our uh, reading lights on. We've got lots of nice carpeted access up here. For anything that you would like to keep in stow, we've got a 110 outlet um, also, as well as grommets. So for instance, if you wanted to keep your iPad plugged in um, up top, you can go ahead and have that cord just dropping down next to either one of your uh, opening windows, which of course give you great cross ventilation. And then on top of that, underneath here, we'll find that we have plenty of room for a CPAP machine. So if you have a CPAP machine that you need to keep with you in your travels, you've got room over here and then also on the left hand side. Now this is a full wall slide on the driver's side and then it's two slides on the passenger side. Um, and that's what gives us so much room in this coach. And you'll note that we have our two chairs here as well as our leafs for our extendable dinette. That's just gonna give you some ideas to the size that you'll have on that dinette when you extend those leaves out. Really, really nice feature there as well. And then here in the bedroom, you'll see we talk about this full wall slide, but if you'll note, there's no carpet here. And that again is another differentiating feature between the Superstar and the Supreme Air. In terms of the cabinetry, um, you know, Newmar just does a fantastic job. Uh, of course, they're located in Napanee, Indiana. That's where I'm off to today for my training. Um, I love the way that they have these extendab extendable drawers go out past the cabinets so you can get all the way to the back. Um, but they really just do a fantastic job at their outfitting. Um, of course, here uh, below our um, Samsung Smart 4K TV, we have an, an emergency exit as well. So the egress door in the back and then your emergency exit here. 
And then these big, full extension drawers right below the nightstand, once again, or the dresser, I should say. And then more closet space here. And these do all have little LED lights inside of them. So really easy visibility if you're getting up early in the morning. Maybe you're going to go for a nice hike. You can do that. Now for uh, 2023, we had some nice changes in the Superstar where they gave us access to panels like this, but I just want to run through these really quickly. Today it was really easy to turn all the lights on because I have an all lights on feature not only here, also above the headboard, and I also have an all lights off feature. This is just a really nice feature to be able to have in case you're going to bed and you forget to turn a light off. You can just open up your phone, you can come here to this panel, or you can go to the panel above the bed. Um, and then we also have our shades. Uh, so our TV lift and our shades are all right here. So this is very easy. As you can see, you can go to the different settings and you can lower all of these shades. And we'll have those kind of going down. Oh, I don't, I think I did those ones, Jody, behind you. Try on either side of the bed. And look at how attractive those are. They're just really beautiful. Those are the day shades. You also have your night shades. But really nice to be able to do everything at the touch of a button right here in the center control panel. Um, now, we also have a really nice, super solid separation between front of house and back of the house. Uh, this is, of course, important because this is a bath and a half model. So if you did have company, you could have your own private quarters to get ready in the morning. And of course, here we've got this mid bath as well. Really spacious mid bath. And of course, one of the things I talk about that's really important is when you're trying on a coach, you always want to test the toilet areas to make sure that they're comfortable. Uh, here's your uh, circuit breaker. As you can see, everything is really nicely labeled. I use a label maker for that, no, nothing handwritten. Um, but one of the good features about this coach is that when you're in this mid bath, if this is you know, your office, lots of room here, lots of elbow room, very comfortable uh, drawer space here to keep any kind of toiletries you might want. Oftentimes when you have an early riser in the family, if that is the case, you have a lot of uh, nice accoutrement here for the person who's up early making coffee, of course. I'm gonna let you get past that, Jody, before I open this all the way. And so you can see there's just a ton of storage in here as well. So this is very much a residential coach. So for someone that might be coming out of something like a London Air or maybe a Mountain Air that wants to have a, there we go, let's get that mirror light on. So there's that mirror light just so you can see what a difference that makes in terms of brightness. And then the fantastic fan, of course, above. Again, with a rain sensor, just giving you that nice fresh air. Um, and also, you know, one thing to note with these fantastic fans, I know it sounds silly, but you know, if you're just looking to get a little extra ventilation, you want to leave your windows open, these fans are great to leave on at night. They just kind of pull the air, the warm air through the coach and keep that just beautiful, you know, forest smell circulating throughout your coach. Um, but so if, for those of you that are looking for something that maybe has a little bit more uh, low end torque and uh, better towing capacity, the Supreme Air is a great offering. Um, we have a really great product in that of the, uh, the Renegade product line. I did a video on uh, Wednesday of last week of a classic, um, also with 30,000 pound towing capacity, um, also with 1,850 foot pounds of torque. That was a 605 engine. This is, of course, the 505. Um, but both of them are going to be uh, dual axles in the back with twin screw capacity. So if you're looking for something that would maybe uh, allow you for heavier towing, this is a great coach for you. Um, the 45 foot pairs very well um, with like a heavy boat, with a stacker, anything along those lines. Uh, it, this coach is very capable at being able to tow heavier products. And then also do keep in mind, in gaining that, f that five feet of storage, having that second axle eats up a lot of bay, uh, bay capacity. So for instance, I have a 40, uh, 4051, uh, Supreme Air available in inventory. If you're in California or in one of those locations that requires a 65 foot maximum length, that shorter coach will give you the ability to have a you know 23, 24 foot trailer in addition to your RV and to still meet all of those legal requirements. If you're not relegated to that though, the extra five feet that you get in this coach gives you a lot of living space, so you have a lot of more 
um, I'd say comfortable uh, accoutrement because you have things like these huge closets available, so extra pantry space. And then underneath in your basement storage, you're going to have an extra five feet on either side of the coach for basement storage, which is a pretty big difference. Um, so there's a right RV for everybody. If you're not sure what's right for you, please reach out to me. I've got a lot of information um, and it's important to understand there's going to be a ton of options. So this coach is equipped with uh, eight AGM batteries as opposed to the three lithium ion battery pack that you can get with the Supreme Air. Uh, so the Supreme Air upgrade uh, on sticker can have two lithium ion batteries added in a second inverter. That's 3000 watts. For somebody who's trackside, that might be an important feature. Um, for somebody who's going to be camping and go plug to plug, so in other words, you're going to be staying at places where you're either running your generator or you've got 50 amp, you may not need that lithium ion battery pack. You may not need that second inverter. So this coach does not have that expensive option on it, which is kind of a nice feature, honestly, in that when we boondock where we're staying, we have four solar panels at 170 watts uh, each on top of our roof and we have our you know eight AGM batteries if we need to run our air conditioner uh, for uh, you know for the hot season we have that running now as you can tell you can barely hear that it's even on um, so you know you really want to make sure you reach out to professional before you order your RV to make sure you're not overspending on things you're not going to use um, also to make sure that you're not under underspending on things that might be really crucial to you having a great camping experience. And that's why we're here. That's why you've got professionals here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado that have so much experience. Um, I spend a lot of time out in my Super C. Um, I've learned a lot of the, the, the benefits and pitfalls of ownership, things that I wanted and things I didn't want. I did end up having to buy a second RV to get the things that I needed in my, my coach but it was a great learning experience and I'd love to help you uh, not have to buy two. <laughs> so you can see here we've got our intervac uh, connections here and then there's your quick plate on the left hand side as well. So this coach is equipped with central vac. Um, a lot of the features on this RV, so solar pre-wire, um, you know, power shades, heated floors, all of those are standard features in this coach. Um, so when you get into the Supreme Air level, you know, you get a lot of nice features above and beyond just torque, engine size, um, you know, all tile floors. There's a lot of other features that are just standard in this RV. So this is a really cool feature. If you were, uh, watch my last video on a 2022 4573, of course that door entrance was behind the driver's seat. This is going to be a mid-entry point. Um, for those of you that do have fine furry friends, I'm going to go ahead and just cover this so you can see this. Uh, step cover, maybe, there we are. You know, I love this New Haven decor. They've really just done such a great job. So this step cover, as you can see, so you've got plenty of room here. If you've got a fine furry friend that you don't want to fall down into the well, I know I talk to a lot of people who actually have elderly dogs that travel with them. Uh, that's a really nice feature to be able to have. There we go. I'll lock that entry step too. Uh, so up here in this cabin, you'll note that we have HWH computerized leveling jacks. So HWH, we've been in partnership with over for th over 30 years. Uh, their hydraulic systems power not only our stairs, but also our leveling jacks. Uh, this is a really fantastic system. Um, very easy to use and very reliable as well. Um, also, you have here your uh, step lock, step cover. Lock and unlock for your baggage doors. This is a standard feature on this coach. You do not need to have uh, the optional chrome handles inserted. They're already going to be on the RV. Um, and then we've got our Wi-Fi router, and then we've got our uh, driver's side window awnings. So, oh, I don't, I don't think I have those out. Let me go ahead and put those out. So, Jody, you want to film those arms coming down right there? Can you see that in that front window? So these awnings are really, really nice to have. Um, they make a huge difference in the coolness of the coach. So when you are uh, out camping and you can't get your Gerard awnings up, maybe it's a little bit too windy. These are certainly not windproof, but they are much more wind resistance. And they're also much more demure. And of course, they're on the driver as well as passenger side. So really nice feature there is that you're going to be able to keep the sun out of the coach, keep the coach a lot cooler without having to have your awnings or be under a tree. Um, now here is a little storage here. I just love the fact that you've got these great cabinets. 
Uh, there's another small cabinet like this outside that I'll show you in the basement. Newmar makes all of the use of all of the space. Of course, the 45-foot coach also affords you some fantastic additional uh, counter space. So really great counter space here. Um, and uh, we have a dual basin undermount sink. So I'll go ahead and show you this lovely stainless steel sink. Um, I like the fact that you've got a place where you can keep your sudsy water that's a little bit smaller and then a good area to rinse or to load up, you know, a heavy pot. Maybe you're going to make some spaghetti or some pasta. Once again, the idea of this coach is that it can be very much residential, so you can live in this coach full time. Uh, so we're maybe not going to be barbecuing all the time. Maybe some nights we'll be sitting home and having raviolis. Who knows? Um, of course, our uh, stovetop covers on this coach have the cutting boards built into the back of them. And then this wonderful feature of being able to take out your true induction cooktop is so nice. And I have to tell you, I have found, um, I really have saved a lot of space uh, with my pots and pans and only having to have one set. And we do take this outside quite a bit and use it to make bacon or even just to make breakfast in general uh, because it's a nice morning out there, you're having coffee kind of settling in for the day and it's easier just to make fried eggs and bacon uh, on your on your stovetop as opposed to over an open grill and then we of course have our convection and microwave oven uh, this oven is huge plenty of room even for that Thanksgiving turkey I hope everyone had a fantastic Thanksgiving holiday uh, and then of course our remote drawer um, you'll see in our remote drawer that we have uh, three controls for our televisions of course we've got one on the televator here one in the bedroom and then one on the outside as well and then you also have your Bose soundbar control this is for the soundbar up here this is a really really fantastic soundbar so for those of you that are in into your music this is the soundbar for the outside um, and then also nice feature having power lock and unlock uh, key fobs for your keys so you don't have to come back into the coach to unlock the coach we have our dishwasher as well and this dishwasher is a great size it's kind of set up a little bit wonky right here uh, this coach just arrived a few days ago it has been PDI would it is available for immediate delivery so if you're looking to get out of town before the holidays we can certainly accommodate you and then here's your full extension kitchen drawers once again just a great space in here by Numar these are so smart you know I, I can't tell you how many times I wish I had a place for my tongs or maybe my spatulas that just holds everything in a nice little compartment and then we wouldn't want you to have to get on your hands and knees to reach the back of the cabinet so of course we have full extension slides as well and I mean these are uh, dovetail uh, slides I mean so everything in this coach is just so high-end so luxury oh what a dream look at all the scrubbies you could have in that drawer again just great use of space i mean how fantastic is that and look at the detail on those drawers i mean just a really really nice execution of quality um, so for those of you that are looking to maybe get into a super c but still don't want to give that luxury up this is a great coach for you. I am going to go here to systems and I'm going to go ahead and put the TV lift up so we can take a look at that. So the TV lift while it's rising, we'll go ahead and come over here. So the theater seats here have USB ports in the actual controls and these are so fantastic. I get a lot of questions as to whether or not you could sleep in this theater seat. So I'll just show you that is as far out as it goes. I couldn't sleep like that. I know a lot of people certainly could. So just depends on how you are. I can't sleep on an airplane either. Like a trip for me to like Egypt is just, you know, brain damage because I'm up the entire time. Uh, <laughs> not that I go to Egypt all the time, only once. But take a look at all the storage underneath here. And I love this little separate drawer here so that you can keep your remotes on top. But you could have so many. We love buying bad DVDs for our Blu-ray player. And then, Jody, this does not match my outfit. We're going to have to cycle through. What are we feeling? Oh, yeah, let's do the green. That's much better since I'm in camo day. Um, can everyone see me on the screen? I mean, I'm wearing camouflage. Maybe I'm invisible. Uh, <laughs> sorry, bad joke. All right, this is the uh, cover for the front. 
Um, it's still wrapped in plastic. And then overhead storage here is just substantial. Great place to keep some board games. And then I am a big fan of uh, putting all of your uh, containers in alphabetical order. Look at all of this glassware storage. This would just be such a great place for keeping coffee cups and drinking cups. I mean, so much room up here. Beer steins, shot glasses, all of those things you need to have while you're camping. And then again, this is that fully extendable uh, dinette. Look at the length that you have here. So this uh, setup has got plenty of room to seat six people very comfortably. Uh, this is just a beautiful uh, place to sit down. Uh, as you can see, we have these really big windows. And then we also have here uh, two 110 outlets as well as USB ports. So plenty of power for somebody who might be working on the road. And then underneath here, this is a great little place to keep your Pimpernel placemats. That's what I would do. I know Pimpernel placemats, they're cork and they're hard and they're great for camping because they stand up and they're durable and you can take them outside on your, um, on your uh, picnic table. And if it's yucky, you can come in and wash them. They're really, they're, if you don't have Pimpernel placemats, they should, I should be like a, an ambassador. Like, should I get like an endorsement contract with these guys? I think I, I talk about them in a lot of my videos. So again, just more storage here. Uh, this uh, does have the SK100 uh, satellite system integrated onto it. Uh, we choose that system when we special order our coaches uh, because it's dish network and dish you can uh, turn on and off as needed throughout camping season. So if you're not camping full time, uh, and not living in your coach, you don't have to have it running the entire time. Again, some more uh, 110 outlets and USB ports on either side here. This little jackknife. And then I was just looking, okay, there it is. So there's another uh, 110 or two 110s and two USB ports out there as well. So lots of power. I know it seems like overkill, but you know, I've spent the last uh, two weeks moving in to my new house and finding all the things that I should have done. And I'm only two outlets short in the house, but I'll tell you having enough outlets in an RV like this is just such a nice feature. Okay, so, and I'm sorry, I think I called this a jackknife. This is not a jackknife. Let me see if I can get this little release here. So this is the, this is the trifold. So this is what you get when you order the theater seats instead of the standard uh, trifold sofa. So you still have enough room to sleep an additional two people. Um, this, villa, this villa furniture that they offer in the mountain air is just a beautiful soft handle. Uh, once again, this is the all new Haven interior. I just love that, but really, really nice that you can still have guests spending the night even if you have um, even if you have the theater seats and those theater seats are absolutely the best in the industry. They are so nice. Um, one of the things to note that you wouldn't be able to tell is tall people can use them and still have good support. So that's an important feature. I'll go ahead and put this back together. Like I said, I really, really do love uh, the interior on this coach. Just a great job. And then let's go ahead and take a look up here at storage first. Now, one of the reasons that you would buy a Numar is because of owner support from people like Darian Todd. Uh, Darian has been working with me with a client that took delivery of a Supreme Air. Uh, we had uh, some wallpaper issues and things that we needed to take care of. Um, and she's just been fantastic at helping to schedule get an appointment up at the factory. That's another reason you'd consider buying a Numar because you can actually go to the factory and have repairs done so you're not relegated to your local dealership. We felt like the Numar factory would be better for the repair of the wallpaper. Um, up here you can see your home screen here showing you your fresh black and gray water capacity. There's also an app in 2023 where you can see this on your phone. You can see your AC and DC power. I started the generator today uh, right here by hitting manual start. Here's all of your water, water pump on or off, autofill, 
your climate control is all right here. Um, when I got in this morning, everything was set to 85. It was really hot, which is weird to say in Colorado. And then here's all your shades control, as we talked about earlier. And then door locks, fans. You can see all of your vent fans, if they're off or if they're on. And then your floor heat. I've got it set to store. Um, store is one of those features where you could have it set um, all the way up to 10. That's going to be your best heat. And then one would be like the lowest. And then store is designed so that if your coach is not occupied, it won't freeze or be less likely to freeze. So it's a good, nice little mode. Easy if you've got a place where you can keep plugged into 50 amp in the winter time. Here in Colorado, unless we're indoors, we typically will winterize our coach. But there's a lot of people out there that might be able to uh, get away with not doing that. It's kind of an expensive venture, to be honest with you, um, but really necessary when it gets down as cold as it does here. Um, these chairs are so amazing. Um, this is one of the features that I really appreciated the change in. Um, of course, you've got your tilt feature here. You've got your swivel suite seats. So these do turn around. Um, but they're so comfortable. Uh, so really, really nice uh, update. I think the industry in general has been somewhat struggling since Flex Steel left uh, the RV segment um, for these driver's chairs. And we finally, I think, have got it nailed this year. I'm really excited about that. Um, so here in the front, we see our dash. Of course, this is the new Navingo dash system. And you'll also notice that we have Wabco up here before, or what Wabco up here. We haven't had this in the, in the past. So this is gonna be your cruise control with distance adjustment, um, which is a really nice feature. So you've got the Wabco, uh, you can set your, you know, your cruising speed to follow the person in front of you, especially if you're doing like a nice caravan. Numar does have a lot of clubs. It does a lot of caravanning. Uh, so that would be very useful. Um, and then here we can raise the height of the rear of the coach or lower it so that we can get our hitch on easier, lock up our rear diff, lock up our center diff. So these are interesting. Um, this coach is going to only use one set of rear axles, but you can engage both of them. So you can lock them both up and get four wheel traction from behind in this coach, which is fantastic. Um, now we're going to go ahead and put the shade up, I think, maybe. Oh, shade down. Hello, Dingbat. Uh, the shade is up. <laughs> hey, listen, it's Monday and I'm about to get on a plane, so I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Actually, I had a nightmare last night. They told me I had to dis I had to postpone my video until Friday. And I was like, no, I have to get the Supreme Air out online for everyone to see this week. Um, generator start can also be done here. You've got your engine brake as well. Uh, parking brake, this is for your trailer brake. Lock and unlock your doors, power windows, heated mirrors, uh, your Allison transmission, of course. And then one of the nice features too is this year they've actually upgraded the camera system. You've got a little bit a better view control, but take a look at all these different angles that you can see. You can see that I've got my doors open on either side. There's a surround and then all four angles. And then of course overhead, which is really handy for parking. I can't say that enough. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start this bad boy up. So of course we go ahead, turn it on. We let the whole entire thing cycle through. All the needles go up. The check engine light stays on for just a few minutes. As soon as it goes off, that's when we'll go ahead and crank up the engine. Your engine likes this. Uh, keep in mind as well, if you uh, are going to be in a cold location, turn your block heater on. That's pretty easy to do, and uh, it's much better for your engine. So nice and quiet up here in the cab. Um, great air horn, really big knobby steering wheel with great thumb holes, lots of control here. Um, there, there's your cruise control settings up here. Here are your um, windshield wipers as also your brights and then power mirrors as well. Just overall really, really easy to operate. Uh, super nice cab. One thing I'll tell you that we're still missing is a place for me to do my lip gloss. I'm going to keep complaining about this. In fact, I'm on my way, Numar. I'm going to come and see you today and I'm going to say we need mirrors in our visors. Uh, this is a great place for a Cobra uh, integrated CB system. Also nice storage up here for, <laughs> look at that, jackpot, an extra set of keys. Um, or if you have a, you know, your phone or your wallet, anything along those lines, you can do that as well. 
And I think that that's about it. Your JBL system, of course, is underneath here. And then you do have a cover here that does give you access to all of your fuses. And as you can see, you could barely tell that that was there. They just do a nice job. Now, one of the things that makes this coach unique in the marketplace is gonna be what you see here, which is your big black rainbow. So this rainbow here is actually very unique to Numar. We are the only manufacturer that does not weld our house to our chassis. So this cab is an air ride cab. It's on its own system still have your air seats but it's its own airline cab and what that means is this cab when you're going down those bumps is only on the two wheels keeping it really nice and, uh, and level and then the entire house can go ahead and yee and yaw as much as it wants because this is not connected so you've got a really really solid drive down the road available to you when you get into either a superstar or a supreme air so this is definitely a difference maker for somebody who's maybe used to the accoutrement and the nicer finishes and the more comfortable ride that you get with a class a but is still looking to get into something that's a little more beefy with a little more towing capacity a little more low-end torque for getting up and down those hills with a heavy load so this is a really really good coach for those of you who are doing heavy haul situations uh, maybe you're uh, racing horses racing cars racing dirt bikes racing boats whatever it might be this could be a really good fit for you and again the nice thing about this product is it comes in both 45 and 40 foot segments this 45 foot coach is exceedingly roomy in the super c segment and that's important to note because when you have that cab up front you know you get that big old detroit taking up the nose of your coach that measurement is from front bumper to rear you know so when you're 44 feet 11 inches long that engine and the extra five feet really kind of negate each other. So this is, um, for me, I have a little bit smaller um, living space up front because of the fact that I have uh, you know, a 40-foot coach over this 45-foot model. And the 4530 is fantastic. I mean, this redesign has just been 100% top-notch, really well done. I'm gonna bring the slides in. Um, so one thing we talk about a lot uh, in our videos, especially for me, um, there's no reason to mince words. Some manufacturers have more um, walking space than others. Oh, that's out. Um, so this is um, a difference between Renegade and Numar. So we have an XL coming in uh, that is a mid-bath model, also on the M2 112 chassis. Um, also, I think that that one might be a 605 as opposed to the 505, but still 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, but that XL is going to be very comparable to this Supreme Air, um, and it will have better walking room between the slides. So for those of you that are up and about quite a bit, maybe you have kids that travel with you a lot, and they need to be able to mill about the cab. I don't know. Um, for me, it's just not an issue. But for you, if it's an issue, there are different manufacturers. Um, but I do think that the walking room on this is very doable. But if you have, you know, a 150-pound Newfoundland, then maybe you need a little more space between your slides. As you can see, these are really nice, uh, really nice slides. And the walking space is, I think, definitely less of the side, sideways shuffle than usual. So um, definitely a little more room, but certainly a little more tight. And then as you can see, I love the way that this is raised up off of the floor. And that again is our HWH slide control giving us the all tile floor. So more floor is something that Newmark came up with that really revolutionized uh, coaches because all of a sudden you didn't need to have carpet in your, in your RV. Now, Avon has been kind enough to open all of these uh, basement doors for us, um, but I thought it would be really nice to be able to just kind of show you some of the nicer features. Um, so full screen, Covered access, so you can keep the bu keep the bugs out. Uh, you've got a doorbell, as well as uh, your number locks. Or I'm sorry, your uh, number access, so you can lock and unlock your coach from out here on the keypad. As you can see, HWH again is responsible for powering these hydraulic steps. This three-tiered step system has a sensor in the front as well as underneath, and will stop and articulate according to how much steps you need. 
uh, to be able to get in and out. So if you're a little bit lower, you'll be able to still get entry. And I did want to point out, we actually added an extra uh, hand bar assist here on the right as well as the left. So giving you a little bit more support going in and out of the coach. Uh, these are really nice little kitsch features that you can do with Numar. So Numar is really good. I can send things into them and say, hey, um, engineers, can I get away with doing this? And they'll say yes or no, which I absolutely think is uh, really nice. You can customize the coach completely. Now you'll see here, great base storage, all LED lit underneath. And then here's one of your side cameras. This is going to be for when you're changing lanes on your right or left. And then this is your flag. Uh, you put your flagpole here. I think in one of my videos I said that was a sensor. It's not a sensor. <laughs> our hydraulic leveling uh, jacks, our HWH system is over here underneath this cover. You can just remove it, it's Velcroed on. I think that they just decided that it was kind of, it does look a little bit, I don't know, you wanna see it? Kind of Mad Max looking. There Jody, take a peek. A little Mad Max looking, so maybe they thought it would be better to cover it up because you don't really need to be messing with it. Uh, we did go to the Oasis dual loop Chinook system uh, last year, so great uh, system. This hydronic system is what's responsible for anything beyond heat pumps. So that hydronic heat, not your electric in-floor heating, but the hydronic heat that's running a tube of antifreeze under the coach, allowing forced air to go over it, giving you very much like a central, centralized heating system in this coach residential style. That's gonna be your Chinook system. That's also gonna be your tankless hot water heater. So a really great system. Uh, and the Oasis systems are very reliable, which is good. Um, so cork board here, um, we could install a few, uh, a few shelves here for your top shelf beverages if you'd like. This is designed, of course, to put your tool, it's a tool board, so you'd put your little hangy mabarber things here and hang up tools, which to me seems like a complete waste of space. I mean, when you could put vodka and, you know, Patron in there, why would you use it for tools? Um, okay, so another 4K smart TV. Two 110 outlets on the outside as well as USB ports. You can run your television or your dash radio off of this system as well. And as you can see, lots of nice shade. Now I do prefer to have my uh, TV in the bay down below, uh, but on the 4530, this is where you'll find it. We also have our, our CFX Dometic on a slide here. So a little outdoor freezer for you. You can control the temperature on this. So if you would like to make jello shots and keep them in here, you could keep your jello shots in here. And if you'd like to keep it as a beer cooler, you could do that too. So as you can see, this comes all the way out. And that is so that when this slide is deployed, you still have access to all of your drinks. So you could do jello shots and beer or champagne. Well, I'm just kidding. I don't even like drinking. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, okay, so this is a great place to be able to power up your inflatable air, um, holy mackerel, <laughs> your uh, paddle boards, thank you. I have these really cool paddle boards and we basically have decided that we only camp places where we can paddle board. Um, I love them, they're called black fins and they have like this really great carbon fiber uh, exterior, they're super sturdy. They have an XL and an X, which are uh, a little bit wider or a little bit longer for going fast. Talk about a great use of space. I don't know what you'd put in there, but I can promise you I could find something nifty for that. Again, as you can see here, there's no any and Audi, so this is not a tag axle with a pivoting rear wheel. There's two innies, which means these are tracking you forward, giving you better traction going down the road. Uh, this full paint finish is not just here on the front. Again, this is the Hayworth uh, full paint finish. Um, I special ordered this coach with the colors that we have on the Hayworth London Air. It's a beautiful color combination. I think it's so well suited on this coach, um, but they're also painted the whole way through to match down the side. So very, very luxurious here. Um, this is the only slide available. And of course, Numar's Star Foundation is what allows us to have pass-through storage on a Super C. But as you can see, having this extra five feet of space really gives you a lot more storage in the back of this coach. Uh, these are your exterior awning controls, so you can control your awnings both inside and outside. 
as well as by a remote. And then your road vac is right here underneath. And those little hoses on the other side, those are so that you can clean your furry friends or your children off. Um, so this is going to have a three inch hitch receiver. It's also pre-wired for a trailer, of course, since that is the design of this coach. But one of my favorite features, and I don't think it'll be this bad this morning. Yeah, that's pretty easy. That little release, just so you know, to get into the rear garage is hard to do when it's warm or when it's cold. It actually gets a little more stiff. Uh, so here again, Plenty of room for top shelf. And I love this area. We use this on our Superstar all the time. We actually have a, a uh, collapsible table that we can keep stowed here as well as our broom. So it holds a lot of space. And then as you can see, this uh, hitch is not just a standard mount. It's got uh, four different settings. So you can adjust the height. It's already pre-wired with a Voyager camera system, your seven pin connector. It's all ready to go. And this is a great way to be able to see this beautiful paint job. I love the look of the Hayworth, uh-oh, on this coach. There we go. And here's the rear view camera for when you're, uh, when you're backing up or with your, over, with your surround camera system as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead here. So we've had this generator running the entire time. This is a 12.5 kilowatt uh, Cummins Onan generator. I know people are tired of hearing about um, supply chain issues, but these are hard to get a hold of. And this is a beefy, beefy uh, generator. Really nice, you can start this from inside the cabin at one of your silver leaf panels. You can start it out here. You can, you know, you could, you could really get your gen up and running. And as I mentioned, oh, here's a little pigtail for those of you who have a stacker trailer. There's also some extra porcelain tile. So if you needed to be able to replace the tile, you could do that. And you'll notice that below this pigtail, there's a grommet here, so you could run a cord from your RV out into whatever device it was that you were trying to power outside of your RV. Not necessarily a trailer, you could use this while you're parked. Um, your little side security lights. This is a great place to keep your uh, black water hose as well as a set of gloves. Um, now, I didn't deploy this carefree awning, but here is the other one on the other side. So you can see they've got this great awning package. Sorry, Gerard awning. Oh, sure. Sounds like we've got a question. Mike Johnson would like to know what MSRP. Oh, Mr. Johnson, go ahead and text me at 303-562-8659 with your email address. I would be happy to send over the window sticker. We cannot quote prices online. so. I would be more than happy to email it to you today. Again, that's 303-562-8659, and I'll send over that window sticker promptly. Um, okay, so digital display out here in the water cab, which is nice. Of course, you've got your gray tank and black tank uh, valves right here. Uh, very nice as well. And then you have a gray tank uh, rinse on this coach, as well as an outdoor shower with hot and cold water and a whole house water filter. All of these things are just standard um with the coach which is just of course when you get into this higher end uh, supreme air you don't have to uh, have as many of those boxes to check because a lot of them just come checked for you so here is your power cord reel uh, this of course is a power reel it's a 50 foot cord um, i do like the positioning of this further toward the back of the coach mine's all the way in the front bay so this is a nice placement here here is a single xantrex inverter Again, this coach can have an optional lithium ion battery pack that comes with two lithium ion batteries and then an additional third of being available. If the uh, two batteries, you would get 640 amp hours. Um, you'd have to add the third to get over the 800 amp hours you have with our AGMs. Um, and like I said, if you're going to be plugged in or camping or boondocking in a place where you can run your generator, this generator is running off of your two 100, or sorry, your 250 gallon uh, saddle tanks to your 100 gallon fuel capacity. It's sipping fuel. You can really run this generator to run your air conditioners more often than not. But if you're trackside or somewhere that they don't allow you to run your generator, that extra lithium ion battery pack um, would be a fantastic option for you. It's really important before you get into that nitty gritty of the spend that you make sure you need it 
Uh, it's a lot of money to spend on something that you won't use. Um, but for those of you who are out there that are, you know, maybe, uh, you know, at the Indy 500, maybe you're, you know, maybe you're out, you know, your, your daughter's an equestrian rider, you know, anything along those lines, and you want to be somewhere where you can run your air conditioner, uh, you can get a, another 3,000 uh, watt inverter uh, in this cabinet, as well as uh, two lithium ion batteries. And the way that Numar does it, they actually give you a spot for a third. If you got that third battery, you'd be up to 960 amp hours of storage. Um, this coach has been pre-wired for solar. I will uh, recommend installing four 170 watt solar panels on top of this coach. Of course, you can order the factory option of 110 watt panels and get four for 440 watts. I'd rather have much, cl much closer to 700 watts of solar uh, coming in to my coach for about the same money, so I order them this way. Um, I'm pretty particular about how I order things for people. Uh, again, there's your eight AGMs. These are on a slide tray, so you just remove the pins. You can service them yourself. I don't know why you would do that. I would go camping and let someone else service my coach. I know a lot of guys like it though, so I will, I will go ahead and default. Um, as you can see here, you can see those big tanks we talked about underneath. The chassis batteries are in this bay. And then there are your saddle tanks, as well as air trucks. And then your Oasis fluid. Make sure you have Oasis fluid. You don't have Oasis fluid, you do not have hydronic heat. Um, before we pass here, I do want to show there's another camera right here. That's for your 360 view. Um, really revolutionizing the industry once again. And again, we are on the M2112 chassis um, with a DD13. Uh, I want to just show you the entry points here. So one thing that Freightliner takes great pride in is giving you easy ways to get in your coach. So there's a lot of good anchor points here. Very easy to get up and down. And then here's your seat controls here. So your heat, high and low, all of that right here on the side. Easier to show you from outside than inside the coach. You're welcome, Jody. Love that beautiful carbon fiber dash. Little mat pocket here. And of course, reflectors for safety when your door is open so people can see you. Beautiful chrome convex mirrors. And as long as, yep, I did it right, this is still open. And again, look at that big old Detroit. DD13, 505, 1,800 50 foot pounds of torque. Allison, 4,200 transmission, uh, 60 gallons of gray water, 150 gallons of fresh water, 40 gallons of black water, uh, three inch standard receiver. This is a beast. This coach is designed to get you out and on the road very comfortably going up and over hills uh, without any issue. Of course, this M2112 chassis has the standard C9 uh, caliber nine grille here with a beautiful Numar logo. Um, just a really beautiful sight to behold. Um, so, you know, I hope that this walkthrough has given you the information that you need to at least uh, come up with questions or be interested in this coach. If you would like me to help you order something like this or if you'd like this coach itself, please reach out to me. It will go quick. 303-562-8659 is my direct number. Again, my name is Katie O'Neill. Thank you so much for tuning in every Monday. Look for me at RVs Inside Out or at TTTRV on YouTube. Thanks again. Talk to you soon and happy camping.